you're watching new car spin this is the 22 toyota tacoma trd pro yes another trd pro for 2022 though obviously it's this electric lime metallic color very striking but they've also done a few things to modify it for 22 they've raised the suspension uh somewhere around an inch and a half in the front and half an inch to an inch in the rear i don't know they haven't really done much they've uh, beefed up a few things and somehow done something with the exhaust to make it sound sporty i just like the way this thing looks and everyone loves a good tacoma this is the best locking rear diff comes on this one if you had the trd sport you'd get the uh, limited slip diff so this is the full beans off-road and today we're going to go well, we're going to get lost actually so it's just me today i don't have anybody to help me but uh you know let's just go get lost see what kind of trouble i can get into this truck will not look this clean when i'm done i guarantee it so it's gonna be hard to do this by myself but what can i say uh yep it's kind of difficult to to go to these off-road parks because it costs money and then the further out i go the more fuel it takes and these videos don't make much money these days so if you're watching this you're not watching tiktok and if you're watching tiktok you're not watching this so i'll be looking to make 60 bucks on this uh i'll put my venmo down below if you want but toyota gave me this truck for the week they don't pay me to do these things so yeah part of my laziness but i'm just here to have some fun obviously uh I've got some stuff in the back. Yep, got my lunch. I'm gonna uh, shoot this and just get on my way. So best I can do probably is turn this camera on when I need to show you something. Maybe do a before and after. I don't know, we'll find out, but it's gonna be a very interesting time here. To go over the features, uh, this, this is the only gimmick in the vehicle. It's called crawl control and you can use it as like a cruise control off-road cruise control multi-terrain select which you might be using today and of course four high four low so right now we're in two wheel drive which is obviously for the rear and blind spot monitoring parking sensors blah 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 blah. so i'm going to keep all of this on we also have a camera so we can see 360 a little bit it's not the best camera but you know <clears throat> this car is kind of long in the tooth but I think Toyota really gave me this car, not to show you what it's about, but to find out what I really think about this thing and maybe what they are going to improve for the next model, you know, when they update the t Tacoma. Obviously they did the Tundra recently, so Tundra is a whole new truck and it's just amazing. So I still like the Tacoma. I like the feeling in here. I like the space. I like the layout. It's kind of aging. You know, this steering wheel is kind of getting, uh, you know, these buttons, just like the menu, the things. The tech is laggy around here, and uh, I know people want more luxurious trucks all the time, and if you're spending 50, 60 grand for a truck, this one only stickers at 50, I think you just want everything you can get. Otherwise, you just go get a bone stock truck. So, trucks are very unique. We're in Texas, obviously, uh, it's a thing here. So, let's hit the trail. Uh, here's the park we're at. <clears throat> Lone Star Off-Road Park, and it was 20 bucks a person to get in. So just me today, but I have all these trails to go on. It's going to be pretty muddy, and, and sorry Toyota, but thanks for uh, thanks for doing that for me. All right, let's see what we can do. Okay, so as we move forward here, uh, I'm going to keep it in two wheel high. I'm just going to back up here to get to the trailhead, and then if we ever run into issues, then I will put it in four wheel high. And I think that's the best way to do it. Just, you know, I want to see how well this thing can do or, you know, as far as this trail, how serious of a trail this could be uh, to any vehicle. That way, that way you kind of get a comparison because it's really hard to shoot an off-road video without uh, giving the, the sense of of the the scope of like how deep a trail is or you know what what kind of ruts there are like you, you really don't get a scale and so i'm trying to do this where i can be like okay well if any if anything can do this in two-wheel drive okay now let's go let's bump it up to four high if four high can't do it let's do four low so uh this is hard to do without a spotter i'll tell you that i'm definitely not going that direction but 
shoot without a spotter this is kind of like another uh, thing it's a risk but okay also and this might be a good spot also before I go into four high is to think about the rear diff lock which is right up there so the diff lock basically engages both rear wheels to turn at the same speed and wow I might have to get some force pinstripes on this truck today I try not to but whatever so the 360 camera still comes in handy and you see the front camera on there so technically it should be a pretty cool experience but I want to be able to get around this place without getting stuck the guy was cool enough to say if anything happens just give me a call so of course I will be giving him a call so I mean I won't be giving him a call because I won't get stuck because it's a TRD Pro bro so the only thing I'm worried about is how tight these trails are like this one right here I'm not too sure I'm gonna make through so I don't know give me some time here let me put this phone down and concentrate and then I'll let you know how it goes okay here we go there's a tree right there you can see it on the map and there's a tree right here <laughs> you can see it in my mirror the tree there too this is the best thing about the Tacoma it is not a fat lardy truck I mean it goes through some really small trails like this and as opposed to a full-size truck you can still get around and get through these tight spaces so that's kind of cool I don't know where you'd end up being where you have to go through this other than this park but let's just say uh, some trees fell or I don't know something happened and you need to uh you need to get through your property or something at least it's not a you know, ram 2500 or something right so we're in a much smaller compact oh look at those ruts look at that can you see that oh man all right well i'm not sure about the ground clearance or approach or departure angle i just know that uh god it's even tight there i just know that we're gonna test this truck today we really don't have a way to turn around, so we're gonna go for it. Um, Woohoo. You know what I wanna do? I wanna get out right here. It's not like a racetrack where you shouldn't get out of your car. It's a trail, people aren't going fast. I wanna show you here uh, what you can get yourself into so far. All right, pretty close. Boom, look at that. All right. It's really hard to put that on camera, but this is where we're at. Let me shut that door and get a thumbnail shot. I have the key in my pocket because, because, keyless. All right, boom, thumbnail shot. Not a sexy shot per se, but still kind of cool. All right. We're going to continue down that way. Maybe I have to turn around. I don't know. I'm not going to consult the map just yet. But so far, so good. Yep. I think we'll make it just fine. Now, if I had a camera person, I'd have someone over there and show them the other direction. But I can't really. All right, so let's do this. Let me just stop the video and I'll cut back. All right, made it through and <laughs> now it's getting tighter. So I don't know what to do here. Uh, you know, without the locking rear diff engaged right now, I feel like, oh my, what is that over there? How am I supposed to get through that? Wow. All right, we're gonna find a way to do a U-turn or something probably hook around there and back up and come back the other way it should be fun so this is still two-wheel drive and diff, diff diff lock is off but we're gonna make it around here to the right this might be also be a good time okay here we go we're stuck The rear wheels were turning here or rolling so there we are not bad not bad yeah okay 
so of course there's less weight on that right rear so I think if we just do a diff lock we should be able to get out of that and come to this spot here and then back up there and then go that way again so uh, let me do that you can see it's got skid plates so you don't damage your oil pan <clears throat> All right, so we just uh, hit this button. Let's see, what does it say? What's it beeping at? Why is it beeping? Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Four high. Do, 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 do. Let's put it neutral. drive why where is the status there's no like menu here show me what's going on with this off-road thing there's got to be no messages all right definitely moving forward now much easily much more easily than before diff lock is still not engaged I think all right, let's back up a little bit. Good thing we have that camera. <laughs> Makes things much easier when you're solo off-road. Let's just say you're, I don't know, in the woods, like I am now, I guess. Yeah, that's good. So we're gonna back up away from this tree and then make our way around. So I'll catch up with you in one second. All right, we're in an interesting predicament because I've got the camera on, I've got the the uh, radar sensors for the parking. So I'm gonna turn that off because I know I'm really close to some stuff. And then the thing is, I need to go back into two wheel drive so that I can actually get a uh, tighter turning radius to make it back out. So we're gonna be back into too high and then I'm gonna get close to this tree. There we go. And then I'm gonna go that way. I don't think I'm gonna make that. Don't think I'm gonna make that. So let's just back up here. Now there's a drop right there too. So this is a predicament. Let's go forward one more time. Take this much wider than last time. This is an Austin Powers move. Dang it. All right, let's see. Hard, hard without a spotter. I do not recommend doing this. All right, it's not much of a drop here. It's a drop there though. Oh, see? So if I just stay to the right, I'll clear that tree. The question is, will I clear that one there? Yeah, we'll try it. So I can back up just to all the way there. Let's do that. Uh, for some reason, I don't. I can't off road without my seatbelt on. I just have to. I feel like I need to be tied in or something. Nope, <clears throat> not quite there yet. All right, so that's that tree and that's that tree. Park, break. Let's see what I got. Barely gonna clear that.
Oh yeah, I'll be fine. It's kind of a cool tight shot. I think I heard a hog or a boar or something. I heard something around here. I'm gonna get back in the truck. Something over there is definitely grunting. All right. So, we're gonna go straight to the right just a little bit. Yeah, boy. Made it. All right, let's go to another trail, something that's got mud. I'll catch up with you. Okay, as we're heading back, I just want to remind you, I've done an interview with Mike Sweers from Toyota. He's the TRD chief engineer. And he said that, uh, you know, it's really capable of some high-speed off-roading, which I would assume is uh, basically, you know, 40 plus miles an hour, uh, not too more than, not much more than that on uh, some like washboard and stuff. So today, um, I have no idea where I am. I'm trying to use the camera here, turn that on. Wow, that's deep too. Let's go this, this way. So today we're gonna just, you know, get through this place, see how much we can push it, see how much we can get stuck or not get stuck and uh, get lost at this point. Did I come from that way or did I come from that way? I think I came from this way. But the ground clearance, I don't know if the increase in the suspension height really makes a difference from the last one that I drove, but I do know that we're coming near the end of the life for this generation Tacoma, and they're really throwing some stuff at it. And uh, I feel like, you know, I'm glad I have this Tacoma here rather than that Lexus LX600 that was just much bigger than this, and it's obviously not capable of getting around this trail right here, so, whoops. That didn't sound good. Anyway, uh, there's like so many trails here and I'm looking for the mud and maybe we can find a trail that's got some speed to it. But in the meantime, let's get back to the beginning. There we are. And we'll find out what else we can do on this course without having to drive through and you know, waste time. So let me get right back with you. All right, so I've, I made my way over here to this bridge area. There should be some mud here, but there's also good space for uh, some higher speed off-roading. You can see the trail I've created. So I just want to kind of survey this area and kind of stay away from people that are uh, in the little quads and stuff. But I want to, I want to kind of get some mud and see what this thing can do. So for right now. Uh, I'm not going to kick up too much dust, but I want to, whoops, I want to go in four high. And then, not much mud. I do want to get lunch. I don't know if I want to sit at a picnic table or sit outside on the bed in the sun or find some shade, but I'm going to eat lunch too and uh, just enjoy nature be one with God as they say so I'll be able to uh, find out what I want to do as soon as I get the lay of the land okay this is cool so we've got all this like chalk chalk pot little stuff here and we're able to just kind of rip through gotta watch out for the deep sink deep cycle stuff but you know the thing about a truck this color is you're 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 green so you kind of match everything but it's so bright it stands out so I, I think that's kind of cool like being able to stand out is uh definitely safe uh it's not like people can miss me but you know i hear a lot of cicadas let's hear all the cicadas and roll down the window wow i think i'm going to take a shot of this truck as well let me put it on that hill See, the thing is I can just go straight across with this ground clearance. <laughs> there we 
we go, right there. That's pretty good. Take a shot here too. It's kind of lame, but you never know. Boom. <clears throat> Kind of a nice day out. It's too bad people have to work. <laughs> All right. There's not really any mud here. We're gonna go find some more mud. So I, the only constructive feedback I have, the, the Tacoma is not perfect, but it's damn near perfect. And I think that the way they would make it perfect is if, if you look this way, they increase the headroom. Because if I'm supposed to be doing high speed off-roading, you know, I'm gonna be bouncing around in here a lot. And the deal is, why should I even be close to hitting my head in here? If I if I, I make a mistake or do something stupid, you know, we're gonna be bouncing around a lot. I think I, I wanna be able to have that extra clearance. You can see. You know, there's just enough clearance, but I could use a little bit more. You never know. But the suspension's awesome. You know, it's it's really good at soaking this stuff up. I wish I wish I had a camera person to help out. But you can't get everything in life, I guess. But uh, let's do this. This is the kind of stuff I'm doing right now. Y'all are missing out. Now, yeah, just soaks it up. You know, the only thing that comes close to this is the uh, the Ram Rebel, uh, not the TRX, but just the Rebel with the with the Hemi V8. And you know, I I know it can do up to like 50 miles an hour and four low, and I just think, uh, I'm not gonna try that. Let's see if we got mud. Sorta. Of. Yeah. Woohoo. I do like uh, all of the ground clearance we have here. And of course there's gonna be some articulation, which I can't show you, but I'm just gonna have some fun. Let's find mud. Hmm. Not really finding it. It's too dry. We haven't had rain here in like 50 days. So, wow. Crazy. All right, I need to eat. So let me, uh, park in the shade somewhere, probably over there, which is weird, and uh, get more of a lay of the land. This is the first time I've been here. Really hard to do without a camera person. Wow. All right, I'll catch you later. All right, I finished lunch and look what I found. We got some uh, creek bed over here. So I want to make my way over there. It seems like much of a drop right there. So I might just like get out, walk out there and uh, kind of scout it a little quick. There's tons of little trails. I just saw a guy go by in an ATV. So might as well kind of just look. I don't think I can cross that because there's nothing on the other side. So I don't want to. I want to be able to turn around, obviously, but let me check it out. I'll leave this thing lit. No big deal. Cool place if you had a ATV. I mean, like a, you know, quad or something. Oh, yeah. Pfft, not going down there. Holy crap. I don't think we're going to get muddy today, boys. I ain't just in the cards. Unless there's a way.
Industrial One. That's not just the way to get in there, but yeah. Take another shot here. Kabam. Bam. All right, let me look around. You know, the excitement off-roading alone never seems to uh, fail. I just wanted to turn this video on now because I was like, oh, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty interesting. It feels like I'm testing the approach and departure angle here. Still close, but not too close. I think that's just a good shot to have. So I'm gonna take it. Oh yeah, look at that. Doesn't look the same on camera, but I'll tell you something. Let me tell you something. It's pretty deep. So cool. So obviously it's gonna go that way just fine. I'm looking for any sorts of ways to get this thing stuck at this point. And it ain't happening. All right, since we're looking at uh, approach and departure angles, let's check out breakover. I'm gonna go up this thing here and see if uh, see if it likes it. See, the thing is, we're not using the radar sensors for much around here. So it's hard to tell like exactly when you look at something. Oh yeah, that rock looks like uh, 26 degrees. Uh, I'm gonna need some more clearance, but you never know. So <clears throat> without using the radar sensors, oh yeah, breakover's fine. Break over to the space in between the truck's wheels. Piece of cake. You know, I'm actually getting frustrated to be honest. Cause I, I can't foil it. I'm not gonna say there's nothing it can't do. There's obviously stuff I haven't tried. Like those moguls down there. Right? I haven't make it, made it down that way. I haven't gone in that creek right there. Just, yeah. I think the last part here is mud, just so that Toyota knows I got it off-road. And then beyond that, I think we'll call it a day. So, V6, fully loaded, it's a pretty cool truck. Maybe we can, maybe we can get it uh, dirty. Well, I can't find any mud here that's on a trail that is uh, big enough for this Tacoma. We started off with some really tight stuff. I really don't want to damage this truck just to prove to you I can get it muddy. So I'm going to head out. I don't have a spotter. It's just, you know, it's stupid. I don't want to be stupid. Today is not the day. So not today, but <clears throat> I'd say the response on this thing too is, um, I don't know. I just can't like kick up dirt or anything. It's, it's just so slow off the off the line the toe in is all funky but if even if i put it in four low i mean it's you're not gonna go fast in four low so it doesn't make sense to test the off-road high speed version in four low because you really can't so four high as it is uh what we'll use but going through here um you know it's it's fun it's comfortable which is a weird thing to say for a truck you know it should be fun but it just handles well. And you know, kudos to Mike Swears for making this thing so cool off-road, because yeah. If there was mud, I'd have a lot more to talk about. Yeah, this thing's cool. Can't break it. <laughs> I'm 
hand this thing back. Well, you know, I tried to break, I couldn't do it. So, uh, well, I don't know what to tell you. I'll try it one more time. It's kind of fun. Let's go down here. If it was mud, this would all be much softer, but it would be a lot trickier to maneuver through steering and throttle input. And I uh, noticed that multi-terrain select, which is up there, only works when you are in four low. So a Ram TRX, this is not, and a Lexus LX600, this is not. So I have a feeling that the next gen Toyota Tacoma is going to rock your world. So thank you for watching. I uh, hope I didn't kick up too much dust for the homies over there. But I mean, this is such a refreshing day. Sitting in here with the AC, not having a, not having a care in the world, connecting with nature. I think it's pretty cool. So with that, I'm out. Peace.